So we all know what utilities are and we all know that iPad can use some quality of life changes. So without further ado, let's get started. First, I have a clipboard manager. Of course I have a clipboard manager because iPad OS doesn't have one by default. So in order to combat that problem, I downloaded an app called Copied. Copied is a very simple free application that can store items from your clipboard for you to access them later on. The best part of this application is the fact that you don't have to really do anything. When you first open the application, it checks for your clipboard and if there's anything on your clipboard that doesn't match, it saves that in your clipboard. One of the reasons I chose this application over other applications that could do the same thing is the fact that this application supports slide over and multiple file types. How I use it is that I have it open as a slide over window and I copy multiple items from the applications in the background and I keep switching back between the two applications to make sure everything is captured in my clipboard manager without actually having to do too much work. It's also compatible with multiple file types so you can have images, links, and you can have text stored in one clipboard manager itself. So that's a really good thing. The next application on the list is called Shortcutify. Such a good name, I love this thing. So if you, if, so if you use shortcuts and you kind of don't ever want to read API documents from third-party developers, this is the application that you want. So the developer of this application has created multiple actions that are compatible with shortcuts for applications that have API requirements. All you need to do is follow simple instructions on how to set up the API for the first time use and all these actions that are available for Shortcutify are available to you in Shortcuts without having to learn anything about the API documentation. Next on the list is AdGuard. AdGuard is a Safari content blocker. You have to enable content blockers from settings under Safari. You'll see the section called Safari Content Blockers and there you will see multiple options that are available from AdGuard. Although the name suggests that it's an ad blocker, but it can block a lot more than just that. It allows you to block cookie pop-ups, ad trackers, social media trackers, self-promotion links, and much more. It also has a filter to block websites that have used invalid DMC takedowns to intimidate small businesses. You should definitely install this app. I mean, I don't see a reason why not. I'm, I'm trying to make money from ads and I still have this application and I'm still suggesting you to download this application. In my opinion, I can take the financial hit because I'm not making any money through YouTube yet. I'm very excited about number four because number four on the list is Fantastical. Fantastical is one of the best calendar applications there is on the App Store. If anything, I want it to be present on every single platform, but they refuse to make it. So it's on this list. Well, Fantastical might be the best calendar application here, we're going to use it as a utility to enter calendar events. It allows you to enter events using natural language processing. So you don't have to fiddle around with menus, you don't have to fiddle around with those date sliders. Man, I hate those date sliders. And you can enter calendar events to your calendar by just typing the event name, the date of the event, and the location of the event. You can also tell Fantastical that what calendar you want it to go to, which I think is one of the best features on any application whatsoever. All those iPad lovers watching this video, you all need to get real for a second here. Cause this might, yeah, this might hurt you a little bit. You all need to get real for a second and realize that sometimes you need access to a real computer. A real computer as in a Windows PC, a Mac OS computer, or a Linux computer. And AnyDesk will let you do that. So AnyDesk is a free for personal use remote desktop client. Yeah, that is available on iPad and you can install the host application on a Windows PC, a Mac OS computer or a Linux computer. So it covers all the bases if you ask me. It is a little bit of work when you first set it up, but it's fairly easy. Follow the instruction. You should be able to choose a name for a computer. After you've chosen a name for your computer, you might want to enable the unattended access setting. It kind of allows you to access your computer from your iPad without being in physical presence of your computer. So this is an amazing application if you want the real power of a real desktop on your iPad. You can hate me all you want, but an iPad is not a desktop, especially if you consider it gaming. It's not. I mean, it's not. It's not. I mean, there's no way you can, you can deny that. It's not. 